Many people have the misconception that sex is necessary in a relationship, as if it's a milestone or level. Thus, the common idiom, taking things to the next level. However, this could not be further from the truth. Having sex is not a requirement for a relationship. It's something both individuals decide upon doing when they feel comfortable. What if you feel comfortable in your relationship, but maybe not that comfortable? How do you know when you're ready for sex? How do you know when you're not ready? Number one, you're doing it to keep the relationship. Sex should never feel like an obligation. If you think that engaging in sex will help you save, recuperate, or improve your relationship, it's a sign that you're not ready to have sex. Before having sex, there needs to be consent. And in order to give consent, a person should have to have a certain level of maturity and understanding. Someone who's going to have sex needs to be sure that this is something they want and that they're doing it for the right reasons, which most definitely do not involve people pleasing. Number two, you're having sex because everyone is doing it. In that same vein, you should never have sex because you feel like everyone is doing it. In Western culture, sex is often seen as a rite of passage from adolescence to adulthood. However, this isn't true. There are many other things that are far more important on the road to adulthood. However, as mentioned in a 2017 study and echoed in a 2011 study, those who engaged in sexual relations early have negative emotional reactions to first-time experience. Why? Stigmatization and sexual double standards often created feelings of guilt and pressure. So if the conversations you hear from friends are making you feel as though you need to have sex, don't pay attention. There are other tactics to avoid uncomfortable conversations. Changing the topic, asserting your opinion, or simply not paying attention. However, an effective way to overcome peer pressure is to stand firm in your beliefs. Don't let other people's opinions, actions, or beliefs dictate what you should do with your life. If you find this video relatable and helpful, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Now, moving on to the next point. Number three, you don't wanna have sex because it freaks you out or you're not into it. There are moments when a person wants to have sex and not because they feel pressured, but the only thing stopping them is sex. They're creeped out by the act of having sex. This feeling can be another sign that they're not ready to have sex. Being creeped out by sex happens. Medically speaking, it's called erotophobia. Erotophobia is the irrational and excessive fear of sex. Some symptoms include having a strong negative reaction to sex or responding negatively to sexual stimuli. Additionally, there are other phobias that tie in with having negative feelings towards sex. For example, mysophobia, the extreme fear of germs and contamination. So someone's freaking out may be caused by different factors, psychological conditions, sexual dysfunction, or even trauma related to sex. It's also common for people with mental health conditions such as anxiety or depression to experience decreased libido. Number four, you're trying to take your relationship to the next level. No healthy relationship progresses on sex alone. Though it might experience a certain degree of intimacy, having sex doesn't mean that your relationship will move to the next level. When people say this, they refer to the fact that they now have a deeper level of intimacy with their partners, but there are other ways to achieve intimacy without sex. Non-sexual physical touch provides similar levels of oxytocin that can help create intimacy. Some great examples of non-sexual physical touch include hugging or holding hands. Additionally, Developing a deeper sense of emotional intimacy can also take a relationship to the next level without making things too steamy. In his blog, Dr. Michael Messina talks about the importance of developing emotional intimacy. He states that emotional intimacy ensures a long lasting relationship. The trick of intimacy involves being vulnerable and increasing levels of oxytocin and dopamine. Dopamine and oxytocin are neurotransmitters or biochemical messengers in your brain that help bring people closer. And number five, you're not sure about your partner. If you are having doubts about the person you're with, having sex is not going to fix it. It'll likely make things more complicated. If you plan on having sex, do it with someone you love and trust implicitly because having sex may make you emotionally vulnerable. So if you think you can't trust your partner or be open with them, it might be a sign that your relationship just isn't ready for sex. Whatever you decide to do in your relationship, make sure both you and your partner are comfortable. If after watching this video, you think you aren't ready, that's okay. I hope this video has helped you somewhat in your decision. 
Let us know in the comments down below if you found this video helpful. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We're releasing our first book. Filled with fun psychology life hacks and amazing scientific studies that we couldn't fit into just a video. Available wherever you buy books and on Amazon. Check the description to find out how to pre-order.